If the only thing you did was save $19 a day, you could not only retire early, but you would never have to pay taxes again for the rest of your life. And if you think that's impossible, then please just watch this entire video. I promise that by the end, it's going to make complete sense. And I'm not going to tell you to do anything risky, anything illegal, or even try to sell you anything. This is just a video that I wish I had seen when I was younger, because if I had watched this video earlier, it would have stopped me from making one of the biggest financial mistakes that I ever made. And this is the type of video that you really need to watch until the end, and then, this is the really important part, actually implement. Because waiting just one year to start the strategy could cost you over $74,000. So if you hang with me for just the next 10 minutes or so, I'm going to explain the most powerful investment account that most people don't use, how you could use this account to become a tax-free millionaire with just $19 a day, and the biggest financial mistake that I ever made that this video will hopefully help you avoid. So let me stop wasting your time and let's get into it. The most powerful investment account and why it matters. Only 35% of people take advantage of what I'm about to tell you, which is honestly a massive tragedy because if more people did this, there would be a lot less people that have to spend 90% of their lives working a job that makes them miserable. I'm talking about a Roth IRA. People get really confused about different types of investment accounts and which is right for them, so let me break this down for you as simply as I possibly can. Here's what you need to know. An IRA is an individual retirement account, and there are a bunch of different types of individual retirement accounts, but they all have one thing in common. They have some sort of tax benefit. Basically, the government really wants people to save for retirement. So to get people to save for retirement, they give people tax breaks for contributing to these IRAs. The catch is that it can be difficult to get your money out of a retirement account before retirement age, but you can sort of get around this. More on that later. So again, there are a whole bunch of IRAs and they each have their own pros and cons. But the reason a Roth IRA is so important is because you put in money that you've already paid taxes on. OMG, what's the point of a Roth IRA if I've already paid taxes on it? Well. Great question, let me explain. Typically, when you invest your money, your money ends up making even more money. This is called capital gains. And when you sell your investments, you have to pay taxes on that extra money that you made. This is called, you guessed it, capital gains tax. But when you put money inside of a Roth IRA, you don't have to pay this tax. If you invested $5,000 and it grew to $50,000, you would usually have to pay capital gains tax on that $45,000 of growth. But with a Roth IRA, all of that profit is tax-free. And since you already pay taxes on your original contribution of $5,000, you don't have to pay any more taxes on that money either. And even better, you can withdraw your contributions at any time. Most retirement accounts put limits on this, but with a Roth IRA, it's a lot easier. So if you invest $10,000 in a Roth IRA and it grows to $30,000, you can pull out your original $10,000 whenever you want to with no taxes or penalty. It's only the profit from your investments, which in this case is the other $20,000, which you might not be able to withdraw until retirement age. So you're probably starting to see how you could become a tax-free millionaire. For most people, becoming a millionaire is just a matter of time. And that's because if you invest for a long period of time, your investments will probably make way more money than you ever make yourself. This is because of compound interest, and it's why it's so important that you actually start to use the strategy that I'm going to explain later as soon as possible. And let me show you how powerful this compound interest can be. Let's say you invested $10,000 per year starting at age 20. By age 50, you'd have invested $300,000 which would have grown to $944,230, assuming a 7% rate of return. Now, what if you waited until 30 to start saving anything, but once you turned 30, you started saving $15,000 per year? By age 50, you'd also have invested $300,000, but it would have only grown to $614,932. Even though in both of these scenarios, you would have saved and invested $300,000 before age 50, 
starting earlier would result in an extra $330,000 of investment gains. And if you didn't make any more contributions after age 50, this gap would continue to widen. By age 70, that $944,000 would have grown to over $3.65 million, but that $614,000 would only be about $2.38 million. So it's not just about how much you invest, it's also about when you invest. Both strategies invested $300,000 before age 50, but one strategy would give you more than 1.2 million extra dollars by age 70. So obviously, if you can contribute a ton of money to your Roth IRA, then it's going to be pretty easy to be a tax-free millionaire. But unfortunately, there are some limits here. There are some really important rules for using a Roth IRA, and I'll explain these in more detail in a second. But the one you need to know right now is that at least in 2024, you can only contribute $7,000 per year if you're under 50 years old. If you're over 50, you can contribute an extra $1,000. But other than that, there are no age restrictions. As long as you have an income, you can contribute to a Roth IRA as soon as you want to. And that leads me to the biggest financial mistake that I ever made, which was not opening a Roth IRA even sooner. At one point in college, I was working three jobs while also doing varsity sports and a full load of classes. But instead of doing the smart thing and opening a Roth IRA, I just put all of that money into a regular investment account. I didn't open a Roth IRA until I graduated college and finally started my career. It's hard to say just how much money that will cost me, but the thousands of dollars I saved while in college will be invested for so long that they could grow to a very large amount of money. Now I'll have to pay capital gains tax on all of my investment returns. So by not investing in a Roth IRA sooner, I might have to pay thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of dollars in extra taxes that I really shouldn't have had to. And you really should open a Roth IRA as soon as you can. I already explained the power of compound interest, which shows you why it's so important to invest your money as early as possible. But if you're early in your career, then investing in a Roth IRA right now might be especially powerful because chances are you're making way less money now than you will in the future. That means you're probably in a pretty low tax bracket. And this is perfect because that means you won't have to pay a lot of taxes on the money that you put into your Roth IRA. And from there, you'll never have to pay taxes on that money again. This is less of a benefit if you're already in a high tax bracket because you'll have to pay so much money on taxes for those Roth IRA contributions. If you're in a super high tax bracket, you might not be able to contribute to a Roth IRA at all, but more on that later. First, let me walk you through how to set up a Roth IRA and then I'll explain all of the rules that you need to be aware of so that you stay out of jail. Setting up a Roth IRA is honestly super easy. There are a ton of very reputable investment companies that will let you do this. Vanguard has a super great reputation and I've invested with them before, but I personally have my Roth IRA with Fidelity because that's where all of my other retirement accounts are hosted too. And no, I don't make any money from either of those companies. I really wish I did though. If you just follow the prompts, signing up will literally take you about five to 10 minutes. It's really that easy. And after you have an account, you can transfer money from a bank account to it. And this is really important. A Roth IRA is not an investment by itself. A Roth IRA is just an account. So once you have money in your account, you can use that money to actually buy investments. I am not a financial advisor, but I can tell you that I personally look for very large index funds or exchange traded funds that track the entire stock market, or at least a very large part of it. These funds usually have the lowest fees and they have a pretty good track record. Historically, the stock market has returned about 7% per year over the long run, which is better than most investors. But if you really want to, you can pick individual stocks in this account. A Roth IRA is actually a really good place for your riskier investments, because if you did invest in Amazon 20 years ago, you wouldn't owe any taxes on those massive gains. So if you wanna go big on Tesla, Nvidia, and Apple, this is probably the place that I would do it. But I personally prefer to stick to more boring and stable index funds. But before you do all of that, I wanted to make sure you know all of the really important rules so that you don't go to jail or owe the IRS any extra money. And by the way, I explain all of the rules that I'm about to talk about in a free guide that I linked in the description. 
Again, I am not a tax advisor, but these rules can be hard to remember. So I just wanted to make sure that you had something you could reference. The first rule is the contribution limit. I said this before, but in 2024, you can contribute $7,000 to a Roth IRA if you're under 50 and $8,000 if you're over 50. Rule number two is that you cannot contribute more than your earned income. So teenagers, even babies can have a Roth IRA, but only if they made money. You cannot contribute more to a Roth IRA than you earned in a year. The third rule is that you can withdraw all of your contributions to a Roth IRA at any time. You don't have to pay any extra taxes or penalties because you already pay taxes on this money. This really makes a Roth IRA a no-brainer to me because this rule gives you a lot of flexibility that a lot of retirement accounts don't have. But if the money that you contribute to a Roth IRA makes a bunch of money, there are some rules on withdrawing these extra earnings. Rule number four is that if you do withdraw these earnings before you're 59 and a half years old, you might have to pay taxes and a 10% penalty, which really just kind of ruins the whole point of a Roth IRA in the first place. There are a few exceptions like certain medical bills or buying a house that will let you get away with withdrawing earnings without paying a penalty. But even in these special cases, you will usually still have to pay taxes. So basically, I wouldn't plan on withdrawing your earnings before you're 59 and a half years old. Rule number five is the five year rule. In general, you should only withdraw earnings from your Roth IRA account if your account is at least five years old. Even if you're older than 59 and a half, you might have to pay taxes if you withdraw your earnings before you've reached this five year mark. And if you roll over money from another retirement account, into a Roth IRA, this five year rule applies to that conversion, even if your account is already older than five years. Rule number six is income limits. As long as you make less than $146,000 per year as a single person or $230,000 per year as a couple, then this doesn't affect you. But if you do make more money than that, then I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is that you make a lot of money, but the bad news is that you can't contribute as much money or maybe even any money to a Roth IRA. But if you can't, you can still use a backdoor Roth to take advantage of the benefits that come with the Roth IRA because the tax system is designed for rich people. I don't have time to explain a backdoor Roth in this video, but it's actually pretty simple. And I will be explaining a backdoor Roth in my newsletter pretty soon. So make sure you're signed up for that. It's always linked in the video description. So as long as you follow these rules, it's very possible to not only reach financial freedom, but also retire early as a tax-free millionaire without even investing that much money per year. In fact, you could retire early as a tax-free millionaire with just $19 a day. And here's exactly how you could do it. $19 a day is about $575 a month. And if you saved $19 a day for an entire year, you could have saved the $7,000 you need to max out your Roth IRA. Technically, that would take $19.17 per day, but I'm rounding. And anyone can do this. $19 is less than what the average American makes in just one hour, even after taxes are taken out. And if you maxed out your Roth IRA for 36 years and earned a 7% return on investment, then you would have $1,042,394. That means if you started at 18 years old, you would be a tax-free millionaire at just 54 years old. That's still 13 years before the standard retirement age, despite only saving $19 per day. And since you would have all of this money in a Roth IRA, you could withdraw your contributions for any of your expenses until you turn 59 and a half. And after you turn 59 and a half, you could withdraw both your earnings and your investment returns with no taxes or penalty. So you really could retire early as a tax-free millionaire with just $19 a day. But it is super important that you start doing this as soon as possible because starting just one year later would mean that you would only have $967,000 in savings. That means that waiting just one year could cost you $74,000. So get started with this as soon as you can. And this isn't the only thing that you can do right now to get closer to financial freedom. I actually made an entire video about nine different things that you could do right now that will help you retire early. You can check out that video right here and I'll see you next time.